Hi guys. Hopefully you can hear me and see me if I, this thing doesn't fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Glasses. <laughs> Guess who's back? Miss Junie B. This is Junie B. Jones. She's at it again. This one is called One Man Band. Oh no, they're going to start barking. I'm in here. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Junie B. What is she up to now? The first chapter is called <coughs> Knock Off. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, <clears throat> kicking the cow. She kicked the cow. Hmm. Not to a great start. <laughs> Look, at she's writing in her journal. Let's see what she's writing. Monday. Dear first grade journal. Tournament. A kickball. Tournament. A kickball tournament. Tournament. She's having problems with the word tournament. The whole entire first grade is going to have a kickball tournament. My teacher told us that was last week. I can't even stop thinking about it. Look. See, she was scratching. <laughs> Trying to come up with the right word. Our families are going to come and everything. I have been practicing my kicking every day after school. I can kick high and low and fast and slow and to and fro and pro and con. When I grow up, I will have my own kicking show on TV, probably. From Junie B, first grader. I smiled at that nice thought. Then I peeked over on the side of my desk. And I tried to wiggle my pee toe. It still felt sore. That's because yesterday a little trouble happened. Oh no. When I was practicing in my backyard. And it's cold. I accidentally kicked my ball over the fence. And I didn't want to go get it, so I had to find something else to kick. Then, ha! Huh, I spied Mother's brand new watering can. It was the one with the funny cow painted on it. It was sitting right out there in the middle of the yard. I laughed out loud at the perfect target. <laughs> this is not going to end well. I laughed out loud. I bet I can kick the silly cow right over the moon, I said. <gasps> then I rubbed my hands together, very excited. I backed all the way up the fence. Then, varoom, I took off running. <gasps> Zoom, I ran faster and faster and kaboom. I kicked that can as hard as I could and... <gasps> Ow! <laughs> Ow, 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 ow! That dumb bunny can was filled full of water. Nobody even told me about that problem. I fell down in the grass, very painful. Then I rolled around and around. I hollered real loud, my toe, my toe, my toe. I hollered, my toe, my toe. Mother hurried to the back door. Johnny B, oh my goodness, what's wrong? <laughs> She called, my toe is wrong, my toe is wrong, 911, 911, I yelled. Mother hurried outside and took off my shoe and sock. She looked at my toe. Oh, oh, I yelled again. Mother hugged me. What in the world did you do to hurt it so badly, she asked. Did you trip over a rock or something? I did a gulp. Because maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that I kick her can, possibly. Mother waited for me to answer. Then very slow, 
Her eyes glanced over to her cow. <laughs> he had a giant dent on his head. Also, his nose did not look normal. Mother did a frown. Junie B, she said very suspicious. What's the story here? I looked back to her real impressed. That woman is sharp as a tack, I tell you. Finally, I did a sigh. I told her story here. Yeah. Only this wasn't even my fault, mother, I said. It really, really wasn't. On account of at first I was practicing my kicking. Then my ball went over the fence. So what was I supposed to do? Kick air? I did a something. <laughs> Good news, I said. Because just then I saw your cow can. So I ran at him with all my might. Then I kicked him as hard as I could. Only too bad for me. Because that stupid thing was filled with water. And now I have a smashed piggy toe. I thought for a minute. Then I folded my hands in my lap very quiet. Then I said. <laughs> Mother did not look happy at me. Gee, imagine that. A watering can can actually have water in it. <laughs> How unusual, she said. That is called sarcastic, I believe. After that, Mother carried me inside. She called the doctor, and he told her to raise it up on a pillow and use ice. And so guess what? At first, it felt a little better. Only this morning when I got dressed, it hurt to put on my shoe. So, even though it was chilly outside, mother and I could, mother said I could wear sandals to school. And so, that's how come I keep checking it on this morning to see if it's feeling any better. I closed my journal real quiet. Then I bent over my chair and I patted my toe very gentle. Next to me, May made a face. You shouldn't play with your feet, Juni Jones, she whispered. <laughs> Playing with feet is what stinky people do. <laughs> She's holding her nose, I think. That's May. And this is Juni B. You see Juni B? There. <laughs> oh, Juni B. She's at it again. I stuck out my tongue at that girl. I still get a kick out of that behavior. <laughs> After that, I sat back up again. And I stacked my first grade dictionary on top of my journal. Then I laid my head on my desk. And I daydream about the kickball tournament some more. In my dream, I was the only person in room one who kicked the ball. That's because all of the other children in room one have broken legs. On account of accident happens sometimes. And so I played in the tournament all by myself. Well, how convenient. <laughs> and I won the whole darn thing with without any help. I was the star of room one. All of my friends shouted and cheered. Then they hugged me very happy. <laughs> and they threw confetti on my head only not may may threw a small potato that was on call for i believe chapter two more piggy problems i stayed in my daydream real long time also i think i snore a little bit then all of a sudden smack mr scary clapped his loud hands together and that noise scared the daylights out of me, I tell you. I jumped straight up in my seat. My arms flinged out very crazy. Then my hand knocked into my dictionary and oh no! Oh no, the heavy book went over the edge of my desk. It landed on my sore toe. Ow! I shouted real loud. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> I reached for my foot. And I started to cry. Mr. Scary came running back to me. Then he quick sent Herbert to the school nurse to get some ice. And hurry for her. Hooray for Herbert. 
Because he brought that woman back with him. Her name is Miss Wheeler. I know her from previous accidents. Miss Wheeler gave me some tissues. And she put an ice bag on my piggy toe. I, it felt heavy and soggy on that sore guy. I put my foot away, but she put it right back again. <laughs> Please, Junie B, said Miss Wheeler. If you just keep this ice on your toe... It will start to feel better, I promise. I shook my head real fast. No, it won't, Miss Wheeler, I said. I know it won't, because Mother already put ice on that same toe yesterday. But today it still hurt. And that's how come I had to wear sandals to school. Oh, dear, she said. You mean this poor toe had already been injured before you came to school today? I did a sniffle. Yes, I said. It was in your a real lot, Miss Wheeler. On account of yesterday, I kicked the cow. <laughs> Can you imagine her kicking a real cow? Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. That thing was solid as a rock, I tell you. Miss Wheeler's face went funny. You kicked you kick the cow, she said real soft. Yes, I said, and the cow was full of water. And a cow full of water doesn't even budge. Look at that picture. Oh, gosh. That's Herbert. And Miss Wheeler putting ice on Junibee's toe. After that, Miss Wheeler got speechless. She didn't ask any more questions. She just kept holding the ice bag on my foot. Plus, also, she mumbled to herself. Room 1 stretched her necks to see my foot. Then Shirley stood up, and she said that she knows just how I feel. Because one... All right. Um... Oh, jeez. So. Something happened, and the phone just stopped. Um, recording this on my phone because it's easier so then it stopped it went bloop. <laughs> hopefully we can continue and then the phone rang <laughs> all right where was I it says uh, yes and Shirley stood up and she said that she knows just how I feel because one time she accidentally kicked a brick that did not feel good either. Then Roger said he hurt his toe before too. Because last year he accidentally kicked a refrigerator repair truck. <gasps> Plus a boy named Sheldon said that last summer he accidentally kicked a giant tree stump. On account of his cousin told him it was made out of rubber. Only it wasn't, said Sheldon, very upset. It was made out of tree. And all my toes got their heads bashed in. <laughs> After that, Sheldon put his foot up on his desk. Then he started taking off his shoe to show us. Mr. Scary held up his hand. No, Sheldon, please. That's not really necessary, he said. Sheldon, quick, yank off his shoe and sock. He raised his piggies way in the air. See, everybody? See the baby one? The baby one still has a little red knob on the side of it. See? <laughs> Just then, Sheldon tipped his chair back on two legs so he could raise his foot even higher. Only too bad for him because, quick as a blink, his chair leg slid out from underneath him. And boom! He went crashing into the aisle. Oh my gosh. And his forehead got a knob on it. Just like his baby toe. Miss Wheeler quick grabbed the ice back from my foot and she put it on Sheldon's head. She said he needed to come to the office with her right away. Only well till you hear this. Sheldon didn't even cry. Instead, he left the ice bag on his head. He put his shoe and sock back on, very calm. And he walked to the door with Miss Wheeler. All of us clapped and clapped for that brave boy. Sheldon smiled when he heard that. Then he turned around and did a bow, and the ice bag fell off his head.
And here's a picture of him bowing, and there goes the eyes. Boom! On the floor. <laughs> so, chapter three. More bad news. Mother came to get me from school that day. She said she would drive me and Sheldon home so we wouldn't have to take the bus. I walked to the parking lot very limping. Sheldon was still wearing the ice bag on top of his head. My, it just had been quite a day in room one, said Mother. Sheldon did a sigh. I've had better, he said. After that, both of us got in the back seat. And we buckle our seat belts. Very important. Sheldon quick put his window down. Mother turned around. Gee, I don't know, Sheldon, she said. That's going to be a lot of wind on you, don't you think? I like wind, says Sheldon. <laughs> wind makes my cheeks flap. Mother stared at him a second. Okie dokie, she said kind of quiet. Then she turned back around and she started the car. We drove out of the parking lot. Sheldon leaned his head back close to the window. He tilted his head into the rushy air. He opened his mouth so the wind flapped his cheeks. Both of us started to laugh. Only just then a little bit of trouble happened. Cause mother went around the corner kind of wheezy. And Sheldon's head got tilted even further and whoosh! <laughs> the ice bag flew out the window. And Sheldon sat very still after that. Finally, he closed the window. He drummed his fingers on the seat. Today isn't really going that good for me, he said. I nodded. Then I patted his arm. Because sometimes I understand that boy perfectly well. <laughs> that night, I tossed and turned in my bed. Because my toe did not feel things touching it. That's why, not even the sheets. Only here's the worst part of all. Because the next morning when I took my off my covers, my whole entire toenail was black. I did a scream at that terrible sight. Mother and Daddy came running. <laughs> Junibee, what on earth is the matter? Said Mother. My toe is the matter. She's yelling, my toe is the matter. I holler back, look, 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 look. I held out my foot for mother to see. Oh my, she said. The doctor said that might happen. Your toenail has a bad bruise on it. I wrinkled my eyebrows at her. A bruise, I said. That's all it is? It's just a bruise? Mother nodded. Yes, it's just a bruise. <laughs> oh my gosh. They painted their little toe black. Oh, gee. Junie B. But I'm afraid it's going to be a little painful to wear shoes for a while. Daddy sat down next to me. Don't worry, though, honey, he said. As soon as it grows out, it will look normal again. <laughs> he pointed to his bare foot. Look at mine. I've bruised my big toenail many times over the years, but it's always grown out as good as new. See? I looked at it and made a face. I think they're talking about the nail, not the toe. <laughs> Just to make sure you guys understand. Daddy's big toe is not attractive. <laughs> Just then tears came in my eyes. I touched my toe very gentle. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. It hurts even worse than yesterday, I said. And so now, what am I supposed to do? Cause I don't even want to wear sandals to school again. On account of sandals don't protect toes from getting hurt. Mother thought for a minute. Then she went on my closet. And she got out my old red sneakers. She got a hole at the top of one of them with my scissors. She held it up for me to see. Ta-da! <laughs> she said real singing. And ha! What do you know? The hole was right where my sore piggy toe would be. Mother helped me put on my red socks. Then she slid the holy sneaker. It sounds like it's holy, like, <laughs> like angels. Holy sneaker on my foot, very careful. And surprise, surprise, it didn't even hurt hardly. After breakfast, Mother drove me to school again. 
Only at first, when I went to my room, I felt kind of shy about my snicker hole. <laughs> so I snuck to my seat and showed it to my friend Herb in private. And guess what? Herb's whole face lit up. A window, he said. You've got a window in your shoe. <laughs> I did a giggle at that idea. Hey, yeah, I said. A piggy toe window. Just then, Sheldon came hurrying into room one. He had a shiny red band-aid on his forehead. <laughs> he stood in the front of the room. He pointed it to his finger with his finger. No one touch this, please, he said real loud. He turned to Mr. Scary. Even though I came to school today, I am not totally right up here, he said. <laughs> Mr. Scary nodded. Oh, yes, Sheldon. I am very aware of that, he said. Sheldon kept on talking. I probably shouldn't play in a kickball tournament on Friday either, he said. Because what if I'm standing in a home play and a ball starts rolling at me and then it hits a rock? And bounces up and smacks me on my band-aid. And then I get a bump on my bump. <laughs> he did a little shiver. <laughs> Double bumps. <laughs> it would not be good, he said. Mr. Scary looked at him. No, Sheldon. Double bumps would not be good. But don't worry. Between now and then, I'm sure we can come up with something else that you can do in the tournament. After that, Mr. Scary glanced over at me. Don't you worry, worry either, Juni B. Well, oh, not well. <laughs> we'll think of something else you can do too, okay? I raised my eyebrows at that guy. Yeah, but I don't want to do something else, Mr. Scary. I said, I want to play in the kickball game. I've been, been practicing really hard. Mr. Scary smiled kind of sad. Yes, I'm sure you have, Junie B, he said. But your toe is already sore. I doubt if you feel like kicking a ball with it by Friday. I sat there a minute, because I never even thought of that problem before. All of a sudden, my shoulders were very slumping. Mm. I put my head on my desk, and I hid under my sweater. Because now I would never be a star of the kickball tournament. And that had been the happiest daydream of my life. We'll pause right here. So maybe I can get this together, sort it, and then we'll go on to choices. Chapter 4 next. Alright, so stay tuned for the other chapter. Go do your homework in between. <laughs> Bye.